one's a first for me on a couple levels. I've known about Mind's Eye for a while. They're based in Toronto, Canada up north, and they also do unboxing videos on YouTube showing off some of the latest toys, which I've enjoyed in the past, but I've never purchased anything from them yet. So they do this $88 Chinese New Year box every year now, and I saw it last year, did not jump in on it, funds were tight, but this year I did. So it's 88 bucks and they guarantee $150 worth of value of various designer toys and Funko Pop items. They get the vendors to work with them to put together this box right here. Each one is supposed to be unique and have different assortments of things within it. So I thought I'd give it a shot. It combines my two favorite things, designer toys and then also like the Funko Pop side of stuff. So. Go ahead and cut into it and see what we've got. The box is kind of bending a little bit on the side there, just because of how the post office did it. It shipped out of New York, even though they're based in Toronto, and it arrived here super quick. So they do serve the US and the Canadian side. The year of the rat, everybody. Happy New Year to everybody who's celebrating. So let's see what we've got. An assortment of stuff so far. I don't even know where to start. Um, Toy Story, Disney, Pixar, Series 22, Figural Bag Clip, made by Monogram International. So not necessarily something I would normally purchase, but it's interesting. If you're a fan of Toy Story, this would of course be of interest. So there's Bullseye, and it is kind of a, a soft rubber bag clip, so it should hold up. I've shown off the flocked Funko Pop of this guy right here on the channel before. And sticking with that same idea, we've got Mickey, Disney's Mickey figural key ring. So not a bag clip this time, it's a key ring. So hitting the Disney stuff first. And there we go. I don't know what this one's called, to be honest. I feel kind of bad because judging by the back of the bag here, it's exclusive A, so it seems to be a chase piece. You can tell it's that one just by the, the shape of the hat up top. So kind of cool. And actually, it's even though it's a keychain, it's kind of a cool figure. Like if you were to take the hook off of the top there, I like how it's rounded out. And for being a, a rubberized figure, they have the little buttons on the outfit, which is kind of cool. And of course, the hat coming up and off to the side. That's pretty cool. Apologies, I do not know what that says, but I think it's candy. So I'm assuming this is because it's the year of the mouse, hence the mouse from Tom and Jerry, and we got two pieces of candy inside. I'll enjoy those in a bit. Where to next, where to next? Let's go to Hello Kitty Land right here. Time to Shine from Kid Robot. I think this just came out. I thought I saw those on the site the other day. So you can see some ideas of what they are. My wife's gonna love this one, no matter what it is. Oh, there's an alien and zombie. Okay, she might have to fight me for it. Kid Robot's doing a lot with Sanrio these days. They had the Candy Bolton figures. Let's see what this mystery mini is. It's like mystery bags and mystery boxes within a mystery box. Looks like a steampunk Hello Kitty. Let's see what it says in the box. Yep, steampunk of two of 24, so not really rare on that one. It is cute, I'd prefer zombie or alien, so my wife will probably get this one. Mario Kart enamel pins. Samples on the back there of what it might be. We do love Mario Kart in this house. How's there no Waluigi? Oh, that's disappointing. I'm always the Wario or Waluigi guy. It is our princess. Coasting away. Let's see if my wife wants that one too. Oh, what next? I've opened up the Kid Robot Halloween, the trick-or-treating tour of figures. We've got one of those inside here. If I get lucky, I'll get one I didn't have already. That would be an excellent find. Not one of the 500 dupes I already have. Eh, I did already have one of these. And the accessory bag to go with her. What is this guy? From Mad Panda Factory, 
hurricane.net. I think I've seen this one on Instagram, but I do not know off the top of my head what it is. Shows the cut to get the bag open. Cannibalage. So I'll share in the comments down below what this one actually is. Once I get the Japanese translated. There's the cute little figure. There is like a sparkle on that silver mold as well. See the hair up top? Whoa! Is he supposed to be like a paint dude? Some stampings on the feet right there. That's cool. It's cute either way. It's like a silver spray paint almost. Super cool. Should we do mystery boxes again? We've got two left. We've got the Molly Bugs and the little spooky but mostly cute figures from Pop Mart. I've been digging a lot of the Pop Mart stuff lately. Let's start with Molly Bugs, see what that one's got. I wanted to get the whole Halloween set that they did recently. It's not Molly Bugs or anything like that, but they had a Halloween set that was pretty rad. Then my wife wants to get the space astronaut ones. So they always include these little black pucks or coins, if you will. It looks like, well the card shows what it is, but it is the moth. She has like a, a shine to her head. And they put this nice little apron on to protect the paint, which is nice. So what's the paint all jacked up when you open it up, right? Now you can see the moth's wings right there. Moon on her stomach. Good details. Pop Mart always does a good job with the paint on their figures too. I like how the lips are kind of just puckering out. That's super cute. And a little stamp on the bottom of the foot. It says Pop Mart Kinney's work. And the card it comes with, right there. Series one, so there could be more down the road. The other Pop Mart figure, a little spooky, mostly cute. A couple variations, oh, they got some of pumpkins. Frankenstein, oh, that'd be cool. Yeah, I'm going for Frankenstein. It's nice to put a little cut pull tab across the top to make this one easier to open. Wish more mystery box companies did that instead of that glue dot you gotta rip open. Little black puck fell out. Look at that kitty cat. Uh, that is way too cute. The eyes have little stars inside them. And the paws of course. The bow right up top. And the tail has a gradient on it. That's kind of neat. It goes from black and fades all the way up into the orange. Poofy hair up front. Let's see what they call it. Black kitty cat yellow. There's also a purple variant of it. So the card will match. I always dig that they give you these little descriptor cards for what they look like. It has three little figures so far, not counting like the keychains or four figures because of the kid robot piece. We got the vinyl artist gotchas. There's two of those sitting in here. Let's see what's inside there. Series 14 and series 17. So let's start older first. Series 14. There we go. Oh, it's a little kaiju figure. That's actually super cool. I dig it. It's like a serpent kaiju. Little pincers for hands. Oh, the mouth goes all the way around the back of the head. And of course, it's got like the serpent tail going all the way down around the bottom. It has the stampings on the bottom too, but I can't read it, so I don't know what it says. So I'm not sure who the artist is. Apologies to whomever that is, but you made a pretty rad figure. I dig that little gotcha. Now let's go newer for series 17. Oh, this one's taped. Not sure who this guy is, but he's not, pr uh, not too happy. He's got poop on his back. Someone stuck poop to his back. Squatting down. Kind of a heavier fella. Details on the hair on top there. No markings on the bottom. Looks like it has a 
copyright across there, but not sure who the artist is and not familiar with this series either. I do like that the, the note on the back has the paper kind of folding off. It's a nice extra detail they added in. All right, so that leaves us with a Funko Pop and then something I'm actually super excited about. So Funko Pop High Rise Assault Trooper from Fortnite. Basic common, you can find these at Walmart. Nothing special, so that's disappointing on the pop side to be honest. But, this one. The Finger Puppet Box Set Version 1. From Chino Lamb, made by Kenny Hugh. These I saw at Rotofugi and on their website. And I actually thought these were awesome. I did the baby sushis. My Chino Lamb, I had a whole case of those and opened those up. They're actually sitting right back there on my shelf right now. I loved them and then they took like a, a variation on that and made finger puppets out of some of the same characters. So you get the full set and then there's one mystery at the very end of this. So it could be a chase piece. Don't know what you're going to get, but you get the Maguro, Lobster, Squid, and Abalone. So let's crack this open. This is really cool. I actually wanted this. All right. We got the variation on the Magaro. See him right there. Different version along the back. So that must be the chase piece of him. What a fun idea. Like, who's been making finger puppets, right? I never thought I'd get to say I get to play with finger puppets on the channel. I mean, what's stopping me, right? But here it has happened. Oh, that's cool. I like the back of the shell on this one, the paint that they did on it. The variation between the two and it has like a gloss. This guy right here has more of a shine to him. I'm sorry, not a shine, it's a translucent effect to him. Then the eyes are solidly painted. This guy's just like, hey man, just hanging out. Also cool effects on him based on the different parts of the body. And then our Maguro! Celebrating something. The fact that he's not being eaten right now, I guess. So let's take a look at the, the extra chase piece it looks like. Celebrating, not looking too happy. Don't know if they're frenemies, enemies, or what. But one's harumph. The other's saying, yeah, all is good. That's right, I just played with finger puppets on the channel. So that is my mind's eye, uh, 88, dollar mystery box let me know what you think was cool stuff i haven't added it up i'm not sure what it's actually worth overall uh, there's some cool stuff in there my favorites have to be as i obviously led on to the finger puppet set from chino lamb um this little mystery piece is pretty slick and i don't know what it is but i'm gonna look it up that's probably gonna be up there on my list i do like the design and the shine of the paint on it and the extra little ball inside whether or not it's supposed to be there I don't necessarily know. I do dig the Pop Mart stuff. I think the moth figure is super cute. Uh, I like that one. And this gotcha piece, I think is actually super slick as well. So those are my favorites. I'm gonna go ahead and open up a piece of candy, have a snack, and as always, thanks for watching.